From a debt of millions, South Sudan today owes East African community no balance of its annual remittance. The country that joined the East African community in 2016 accumulated over 40 million US dollar of annual remittance for years that had affected the country's performance in the regional bloc, according to Honorable Thomas Dutt. Uh, in Fozi Yala, uh, it wasn't easy for us because uh, uh, from time to time we, we were defaulting, as I mentioned. This is in the context of the crisis we are in. And, and this is, as we would want to mention, is economic crisis. According to South Sudan representatives to the East African community, the gesture will reduce the country's pressure when participating in the East African community. That uh, during the last summit, uh, in which our minister, Honorable Barnaba, uh, represented the president in the last summit, uh, there was a discussion and finally there was a resolution by the summit in which in, in that resolution it contained that the rest of the areas should also be waived. It was considered that we are also eligible because it was done to Burundi. So at the moment South Sudan stands at zero and um, hopefully that we shall be able to pay uh, for this financial year. So because we have not paid any money for this financial year, but the other years behind, it has been uh, uh, waived and the 15 million that we paid was meant to waive the other outstanding uh, areas that we owe. The Honorable Muklia Kennedy says there will be more energy exacted by the members of the 5th Assembly in the East African Legislative Assembly from South Sudan after those from the 4th Assembly witnessed negative comments from other partner states felt it has relieved us because of the embarrassment we used to get. We don't used to have that opportunity to really articulate matters because you'll be thinking about, yes, they may mention about the payment, but at least um, you can see that even right now we have got some sort of better treatment. Say members respect us, even the community itself respects us. And that's why, you know, they, 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 they're really into South Sudan. If you really try to look at what has been happening in this plenary, you just definitely know that South Sudan is uh, doing very well. So we have to keep that momentum. We don't need to let it down. And uh, I wish the country takes this uh, momentum that has been built to move the integration agenda, especially fulfilling the roadmap that was developed six years ago in terms of implementing many of the things that the country wants to do together with the ESC. East African community, currently hosting seven member states, has for years struggled with soliciting remittance. It is of reason that the idea of alternative financing mechanisms seems gaining momentum from leaders of partner states to ensure the regional bloc has sustainable financing mechanism from its partner states. James Arosi, SSBC, Kigali, Rwanda.